Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and over there is John Lewandowski. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville, and happy Halloween! Lord knows it's not one for this organization. Ugh. But today, the National Predators took on their daddy, the Edmonton Oilers. I mean, I'm sorry, they're the Edmonton Oilers who own them. Like the right. own the Bears. <laughs> All right, so shots on goal in the first period. Edmonton outshot Nashville fifteen to ten. In the second period, Nashville outshot Edmonton ten to five. In the third period, Edmonton outshot Nashville nine to seven. And in total, Edmonton outshot Nashville twenty nine to twenty seven. In the face-off circle, Edmonton was better at 54% to the Preds, 46%. On the power play, Edmonton goes 0 for 1, while the Preds go 1 for 3. Uh, Edmonton had 16 penalty minutes to the Predators, 12. Uh, the Predators had more hits at 30 to Edmonton's 20. Edmonton had 19 block shots to the Predators, 11. Edmonton had 10 giveaways to the Predators, 9. Edmonton at seven takeaways to the Predators, five, and yeah, uh, statistically, not a good night, um, but let's get into the scoring. Uh, in the first period for Edmonton, 37 seconds into the game, uh, it was Victor Arvidsson scoring his first of the year, assisted by Dreisaitl, his fifth. And Pod Coles in his second. Then at the 505 mark, Nashville gets on the board with a goal from Philip Forsberg, his fifth of the year, and that was on the power play unassisted. Then in the first period at the 954 mark, Edmonton gets on the board again with a goal from Corey Perry, his second of the year, assisted by Cagula, his first, and Philip, his first. Then in the second period, at the 9.03 mark, Edmonton scores again with a goal from Leon Dreisaitl, his seventh on the year, unassisted. Then in the third, Leon Dreisaitl scores his eighth with an assist from Matthias Ekholm, his seventh, and Evan Bouchard, his fourth. Then at the 12.46 mark, Zach Hyman scores his first of the season with an assist from Darnell Nurse and Jeff Skinner. Nurses for Skinner's third. The Preds are, and, and, and you can hate me if you want to, but the Preds have lost every series against Edmonton since 2019. And they have another meeting November 14th. Though, well, yeah, they're already down 2 0 in a three game series. So, yeah, they've already lost the series. Yep. So it's kind of like the whole Detroit thing. This uh, point, the Predators need Andrew Brunette to turn into a dude from the movie Miracle, Herb Brooks, and Pulp Do a Miracle. Like, there, there's bad starts, and then there's, okay, we got to bounce back, or it's going to be a really long year. Well, they can say this. Ten games in, the Preds are... One, two, three, five points out of fourth. So it's not that it's not doable. But when Winnipeg's only lost one game, Dallas has only lost two, Minnesota's already only lost one in regulation. They have two, two overtime losses. And the rest of the dang division is hot garbage. No.
But the only team worse than us is the San Jose Sharks. But, to be truthful, I kind of... You, you can kind of hate me if you want to, Preds fans, but this is kind of me sitting back and going, y'all remember when I said that trading y'all might be a bad idea? And that you signed Soros too quick? Well, carry A minus three, Yossi minus two, Shea minus two. Saros led in five goals on 29 shots with an 82.8 save percentage. And this is what we're paying him $8 million for the next eight years to do. Hey, uh, Trots, whatever happened to the, this is not the place to come to retire. We don't need that, huh? That used to be Arizona. Um, um, yeah, now the Utah Hockey Club, which <clears throat> I'm kind of liking the idea of the Utah Raptors. Since they can't do it with their uh, basketball team. Because, you know, oh. Rano has that. Because there's literally a raptor called the Utah Raptor. Um, to make it worse, the Blackhawks are beating the Sharks. Well, who plays tomorrow? Oh, uh, the Stars and Panthers, Sabres and Islanders, uh, Senators, Rangers, Jets and Blue Jackets, Lightning and Wild, Devils and Flames. The Flames started off well, and since that it has been not good at all, we will be back on Saturday. Um, I know the Admirals play tomorrow, but I have a prior engagement that I so forgot about, so I'm letting you know now. Mm. <coughs> if we can't beat the beat-up, battered, and bruised Avalanche, we have a problem. Yep. Six of the nine Avalanche's top players are out. The and, only frankly, one and frankly, from what I've seen, their goalie situation isn't any better right now. I think we need to stop overpaying goalies. Man, that Pacific Division is a mess. Um, so, guys, who can the Preds move? Well, people have been wondering this whole time. Well, Stamkos doesn't have a no-movement clause. Moshiso doesn't have a no-movement clause. O'Reilly doesn't have a no-movement clause. The only people that can't get traded are Forsberg Yo and Yossi. Soros can still get moved until next season. So, anybody want a $7 million goalie? I'll I'll take Wedgewood if we're gonna suck. Cause at this point Um The Preds are gonna be paying people till they're blue in the face. We're still playing Kyle Turris and he's retired. Two million dollars till twenty twenty eight. The twenty twenty eight, twenty nine season. You know that we only have one, two, three, four people. Four people. 
on this roster that are signed till that season. Four people. In Nashville. <sighs> the only other thing I can say is it's I don't know what goes on in the locker room, but I think it's time for all ears to be open, all suggestions to be made, any ideas. But, you know, you're paying these players a ridiculous amount of money to play what they're good at. But, like, maybe it's time to get their input more than you realize. I think it's time to, if it does not get better by the end of November, because literally to start next month is Colorado. Uh, the LA Kings, Washington, Florida, Utah, Colorado, Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, Seattle, Winnipeg, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Tampa Bay, Minnesota. For November. In that order. You... Let's, let's see, I'll pull that out. Let's see, so. The 17 games would put them at 27 games. I, I'm looking at next month's schedule for them, and I'd say... They should at least be winning seven games next month. And losing in 10. In my opinion. And losing 10. Right. They can win more than seven, but there's seven for sure winnable games on the November schedule. And they... Hey, we get a whole week off from the fans because God knows, actually almost two weeks. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. God knows I can't do nine o'clock games. No. Not with kids. You'll probably see us next day on some of them. Unless we like Go over the start of month. Mm -hmm. By the middle of the month, we're just like, well, we're taking that. You know what? If you're going to, here's the thing. If they're going to play like that, and they keep playing like this, win one, lose three, win one, lose three, win one, lose three, win one, lose three. <coughs> NHL, take it back. Take it back. You gave Saros second star of the week. Take it back. Take it back. Right. So far this season, eight games played, two wins, one shootout, I believe, uh, 3.04 goals against average, and a .896 save percentage. Yeah, not acceptable. Yeah. Um. Quick call on time here. Uh, we got like ten minutes left. Oh boy, this is gonna be close. Well, let's see if I can do it. Oh, I know what. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be close. Because I almost forgot. It does have to get done. Uh, start working. Really? 
Now you want to flip and lag. All right. This is in the system, and the system is where we talk about players that are drafted but not signed. All right, so let's get into this. Victor Doringer has six games in the SHL, no goals, no points, period. But he played in the J20 National League. Uh, he has six goals, 13 assists for 19 points. Uh, Miguel Marquez for the Lithbridge Hurricanes in the Western Hockey League. He has 10 games played with five goals, 12 assists, 17 points. Simeon Chishikov is avant-garde on Minsk. In the KHL defenseman, he has 20 games played, 7 goals, 8 assists. All right, more. Uh, for 15 points, Matthew Wood of the University of Minnesota. He has 6 games played, 3 goals, 9 assists, 12 points. Vigo Gustafson, he has defenseman. He has 19 games played, 2 goals, 10 assists, 12 points. He has 1 for HV71, 1 game played. And for Tamara IK in the SHL, he has four games played. Cole O'Hara for UMass, seven games played, four goals, seven assists, 11 points. Uh, Joey Wallace for the um, for the uh, championship winning Saginaw Spirit last year of the OHL, he has 10 games played, three goals, seven assists, 10 points. David Edstrom, the guy we played trained in Yara for, 12 games played in the SHL, 3 goals, 7 assists, 10 points, plus 6, not bad. Tanner Molodyke, one of our young budding prospects, uh, playing in his 7th game for the Saskatoon Blades in the Western Hockey League, seven or 3 goals, 6 assists, 9 points, plus 8. Kasper Kulanumi for the Kiko Espo of Liga, he has 17 games played, 3 goals, 6 assists, 9 points, plus 1. Aiden Fink from Penn State University in the NCAA, he has a whopping total of 5 games played, 2 goals, 7 assists, 9 points, and a plus 4. Igor Shurn for the KHL Yaroslav uh, Locomotive team, he has 15 games played, 3 goals, 1 assist, 4 points. He also has played in their MHL team, where he has three games, two goals, two assists, four points. Felix Nelson is playing for one of the, both of the Sweden leagues, it looks like. I.K. Oscar Sham, uh, five games played, one goal. Uh, Rogel BK, he was also on that roster, where he has ten games played, one goal, seven, six assists, for seven points. Uh, Anton Olsen for Luko uh, in Liga in, in Finland. 18 games played, two goals, three assists, five points, minus three. Uh, Andrew Gibson for the Sioux Greyhounds of the Ontario Hockey League. He has 13 games played, three goals, one assist, four points, plus nine. Uh, Teddy Stiga for Boston College. He has four games played, one goal, three assists, four for four points and a plus three. Hiroki Gosik for the Kelowna Rockets has six games played, one goal, three assists, four points. Uh, Vlaslav Yaramingo for Metalberg, Monstagoras in the KHL. He has 21 games played, one goal, three assists, four points and a plus one with 10 penalty minutes. Simon Dack of Hockey Club Davos of the National League in Sweden. 14 games played, two goals, one assist, three points, plus two. Gunnar Wolf Fontaine for Ohio University. Six games played, three assists, plus three. Eric Paulson, University of Minnesota. Six games played, one goal, one assist, two points, plus two. Dylan McKinnon for the Montanac Wildcats of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. 13 games played, one goal, one assist, two points, and a plus seven. Ben Stryden in the University of North Dakota. You, uh, the uh, five games played, one goal, one point. Uh, Sutter Muzzati, uh, he's at the RPI, which is the Rensselaer Poly Inst Polytech Institute. Two games played, one assist. Isaiah Walther, five games played for the University of Vermont. 
What is this? Chase McClay, Colorado Oak College. One game played, no points. Kayla Lynn for the Red Deer Devils. Red Deer Rebels. Three games played, no points. Luke Reed, University of New Hampshire, the NCAA, four games, no points. Jake Ingram, St. Cloud State University, five games played, minus one, no points. <coughs> Jacob Milana of the Cape Brenton Eagles of the Quebec Major Junior League. He has 11 games played, 3.00 goals against average with a 90.6 save percentage. He is 6 4 and 1. Uh, Yuha Get Cola for Kalpa and Liga. He has 8 games played with a 1.85 goals against average with a 92.2 save percentage. He is 5 1 and 2. And Konstantin Volkov plays for the Kulun. Red Star in the KHL, where he has played seven games and gave up four goals and eight four point eight four goals a game with an eighty three point two save percentage. Youch! And with that all being said, that is your in the system. Thank you all for watching. I need a drink. Holy <laughs> hell, where's the Tylenol? Oh, wait, is it too early for that? No. <laughs> See y'all later.